Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations. I'm going to solve each equation, but we're going to remember to check for our extraneous solutions. So if I was given this whole problem here, r equals the square root of, I'm writing sideways, 10r. I'll fix that in the next part here. To get rid of that square root, again, like always, I'm squaring both sides here. So I'm squaring both sides, boom, I have r squared equals 10r, got rid of that square root. Let's bring the 10 in, 10r over, r squared minus 10r equals 0. Then we'll factor it, let's just pull out that r. So r times r minus 10 equals 0. We set both parts equal to 0 here, and so we have r equals 0 and positive 10 are our two solutions. Well, two solutions so far. We gotta check it, right? Check for our extraneous solutions. See if anywhere, any of them are extraneous, okay? So let's check here. Again, those E's throw me off. All right, check. So let's rewrite our equation. R equals 10R, and that's a little more level there. We're going to plug R equals 0 in. Not a 6, that's a 0. Okay? 0 equals 10 times 0. What's 10 times 0? Easy. 0 times anything is 0. So we have 0 equals 0 here, or square root of 0. Square root of 0, 0. So left and right hand side, R equal looking good, right? Means zero's a true solution, but we have two solutions we came up with, so we gotta check both of them. Let's not skip on our work here. So we have r equals 10 here. Don't be lazy. r equals square root of 10 times r. Let's plug 10 in. 10 equals square root of 10 times 10. 10 times 10, 100. Fantastic. Looking good. Square root of 100 though, just 10. So we have 10 equals 10. Hey, that looks good, right? That looks great. They're both equal. So we have the, well, r equals 10 works too. So we have two solutions, 0 and 10. And none are extraneous. We don't care about that one and this one here. Both are true. So we have r equals 0 and 10. Let's do like we always do, a quick recap. So we have, we're given r equals square root of 10r. Squared both sides, leaving with r squared equals 10r, brought that 10r over to the left. r squared minus 10r equals 0. Then I pulled out an r, so I had r times r minus 10 equals 0. Then from there, that equals, right, we need to uh, set both parts equal to 0, and we have r equals 0 and r equals 10. But i got to check both the solutions. When I plug 0 into our original equation, drill down here, we're left with 0 equal to 0 when we simplify. They're true, right? It's a true statement, meaning zero is a true solution. Fantastic, not extraneous. But we have the other one here. We have to check the 10. Don't forget them. R equals 10. Plug that back into our original equation. Drill down. A little harder, right? 10 times 10, not really, but it's 100. Square root of 100 is 10. Left side and right side are equal. 10 equals 10. Great, fantastic, looking good. And so none were extraneous, and our two solutions both worked out. Our R equals zero and positive 10. 